tell them check out the blog, bro. YouTube channel called MKO. Hmm. It's pugilism, boxing algorithm. M stand for Marvin and Kevin's initials KO. Yeah. What's good, ladies and gents? Welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel, where we talk all things boxing. As always, like this channel, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon, and you will be the first to know when we drop the newest of content. So, uh, let's talk about it. The WBSS World Boxing Super Series uh, Cruiserweight Final, um, the second season of, of this event between two guys who were actually in the previous season, which is Uniel Dorticus and, of course, Maris Bradis. And this fight um, was a decent one, and uh, it, it wasn't the most amazing of finals, but it was an okay fight. It was okay. Um, it was nothing too spectacular. Um, Maris Bradis showed that he's got multiple dimensions to his game, um, he done very well in this fight, you know, boxing well behind the jab. He was varying his, he, he had the lateral movement upstairs, you know, good punch variation. And uh, he he's a guy that um, gave, uh, what's this called, gave, gave uh, Alexander Usyk some good work in, in the last um, WBSS. And uh, he certainly proved his superiority here over Uniel Dorticus, who Uniel Dorticus is a good puncher. He does punch devastatingly hard. He punches very, very hard. But um, as with some other punchers, he's got to kind of line you up for the punch and he, and he likes that uh, right hand. He really does like that right hand. Um, with this fight, in terms of a pattern, um, it was quite straightforward, really. Um, Dorticus, he had a few moments there and thereabouts but um, for the most part it was pretty much a dominant performance by Maris Bradis he, he completely outboxed um, Dorticus the Cuban completely outboxed him you know threw more landed more you know he gave Dorticus different looks and he made it you know very very difficult for Dorticus to try and land his hard right hand um, Dorticus, for his part, he was quite patient throughout the fight. He was waiting, waiting, waiting for the for the big shot. But I think, you know, in order for him to uh, stand any chance of winning this fight, he really needed to to do that little bit more. I think he, you know, Dorticus needed to vary his work, do something a little bit different. Uh, because in the time he's waiting, waiting, trying to land a, a big shot on Bradis, you know, Bradis was just peppering him up. You know, just putting on a beautiful um, display of boxing. You know, the skills of of Marys Bradis were were really on display in this fight. You know, he boxed brilliantly. I mean, especially the championship rounds. He just, I think, he clean. It was pretty much a clean sweep. You know, all the way through nine, ten, eleven, twelve, clean sweep. Um, you know, Dorticus could could really do nothing with Bradis. I mean, he was he was sort of following around and. And trying to land and you know he, he remained calm but the meantime while he's following um, Bradis around he's getting peppered up he's getting punched all over the place and you know he wasn't in any danger of being stopped or anything but um, it was very dominant and you know Bradis won just pretty much swept this fight you know he, he just showed clearly that he is the, the better boxer um, and he showed that, you know, even though Dorticus can punch and he can lay people out with his big right hand or whatever, you know, if he can't land that, he pretty much runs out of ideas. And, you know, in this fight, that was another big element of it. Um, Bradis was really doing his thing. You know, he was flowing with his boxing, very fluid with his his, his movement. And, um, yeah, he, he just he was just dominant here and... And a brilliantly, um, you know, it was a brilliantly executed game plan. Um, uh, with Dorta, because he, he just seemed to have one idea to win the fight, one way of doing it, just sort of coming forward and waiting for that good, that big opportunity to land um, the um, the big KO punch, the big right hand or whatever. But it, it never came. And it was never going to come because Bradis was just too smart and Bradis was just working too hard and, and landing too often. To, to you know to be hit by the right hand and he, he could see what Dorticus was trying to do and he just 
you know, he just done his thing. He, he could see what Dortikas was trying to do, trying to line him up for. And um, it was never going to work for Dortikas because Brady was just too smart and he was just far too busy. And um, he, he had what it takes and he, he won the fight well. And yeah, he can be very proud of himself to be the um, winner of season two of the WBSS Cruiserweight Final. And now, you know, as some were talking about retirement in a commentary, I think Darren Barker and the other commentator there were talking, he could even retire on this because, you know, he's made good money here. And, um, but, you know, it is what it is. He might have another fight or two, but yeah, we, we'll see what happens with both guys, um, Bradis and Dorticus. But, you know, for now, that's just my thoughts on it. Um, you know, Bradis gave a good um, boxing lesson there to Dorticus and he now the WBSS cruiserweight champion, winner of the coveted Muhammad Ali trophy. So congratulations to Maris Bradis. That's just my thoughts on, on that fight. And until next time, this is MKO Pugilism over and out. See you next time.